Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, we are gonna be looking at three of my favorite easy to play classical guitar songs. Now I've arranged them for you guys so that most players can play through them. So we've got nice simplified um, arrangements specifically for guitar. Um, if you wanna download paper copies, you can follow the link above. Um, uh, that'll send you to my Etsy store. You can pick up paper copies, which is the best way to practice these songs over time. But the tab will be on the screen so we can play through the songs together. All right, the first song we're gonna play is In the Hall of the Mountain King. So there's one alteration we need to make to our guitars before we can play, and that's taking our sixth string and lowering it to a D. So grab your tuner, tune up your guitar, drop your sixth string to a D, and let's play along. All right, so here's what the song sounds like. I'll play through the first line, and then we'll break it down and play through it together. Here we go. So hopefully some of you guys will recognize that melody. So let's drop the six string notes. This is how I would teach my students. Let's just learn the melody first. And once you have the melody, then we'll go back and add the bass notes. All right, as a general rule, if a note is on the first fret, you're gonna to wanna to use your first finger. If it's on the second fret, you'll use your second finger and so on and so forth, okay? So here we go. Let's play through the melody nice and slow. Grab your guitars, let's play along. Now the second line is the same as the first. Let's play through that. There we go. Now we change keys and we go into key of A. Here we go. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go back and add our bass notes. So it's going to add, um, yeah, the appropriate body and fullness when we have that. So we're going to have to use on your, on, your, on your right hand, your thumb is going to take the sixth string and then your fingers will take the higher notes. So let's go back to that first line. Um, and the only notes we need on our sixth string is open and then a third fret. So here we go. So now you're going to use this kind of motion with your thumb and your index finger. Let's play along. Bass note again, bass note. Now, when we get here, it's a little tricky. I would say use your index finger and your ring finger to play the bass note first, and then as the beats come along, then add your additional fingers, your middle finger on third string and your pinky on fourth string. If you try to get that shape all on at once, you're gonna, you're gonna drop a beat. Um, at first anyway. So when you come into that, then just play this, uh, these two notes first. So you may need to isolate that little part. Um, it is a little bit tricky. So anyway, we'll practice it a few times. So let's go on to the second line. It's, uh, like I said, identical to the first, only now we have two bass notes per measure. So let's try that. Awesome. Let's go on to the third line. So our bass notes for this line are only going to be fifth string open, your A note. Let's try playing along. Here we go. Nice and slow. Now we move on to the final two lines of this arrangement. Um, and here's where things get a little bit tricky. We need to play a diminished chord. So your middle finger is gonna go on a B, which is fifth string, second fret. Your ring finger is gonna go on the next string down, fourth string, third fret. Your index finger is gonna go to third string, first fret. And your pinky is gonna go to second string, third fret. So it sounds like this. So you may have heard that in various pieces. <laughs> 
really colorful, interesting chord. So anyway, um, yeah, the first two lines, as you can see on the screen, are going to be this B diminished seventh chord. So here we go. Just like that, basically just arpeggiating it out. Um, and then you go back to more of the traditional melody. Here we go. Okay, and then the fourth line is very similar to the first. We'll play it slightly faster. So grab your B diminished seven chord there. Now that we've looked at each section of this arrangement, let's go ahead and play through the whole thing at a nice medium tempo. I hope you guys enjoyed playing in the Hall of the Mountain King. Let's look at our next song, which is going to be Minuet in G. All right, let's take a look. All right, so let's launch back into Minuet in G. So make sure you take your sixth string and tune that baby back to an E so that you're in standard tuning. Other than that, let's do the same thing that we did with in the Hall of the Mountain King, and let's just play through the melody slowly. So let's ignore the bass notes, just play the melody until you guys are used to that, then we'll add the bass notes. Here we go. And then you just start to repeat. And that's the end of the A section. So now let's go back and add some of our basic bass notes. So first measure, we're going to have two bass notes. We're going to have a G and an A, so let's go ahead and play those. Just like that, and then you're going to have sort of a G over B shape, um, second fret and third fret. And then you're going to go to that C bass. And sort of an A minor. And G. And D. Now this can be a little tricky shifting over like that and then as I mentioned the first time you start to repeat So now let's tackle section B. Let's do the same thing. We'll start with the melody and then we'll go back and add the bass notes. So we're going to start on this high B on 7th fret. Here we go. Next section.
All right, so now let's go back and add our bass notes. Same tempo, so we're gonna add an open G with that high B, just like that. So here we go, nice and slow. Good, and you can see that little hammer on on the screen there from open to third or from a B to a D on second string. So if you wanna do the hammer on, you certainly can, just like that. Or if you wanna play them individually, especially when you're at slower tempos, feel free to do it either way. Okay, so for our third song, we are gonna look at Swan Lake, another one of my all time favorites. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at Swan Lake. This one's just a beautiful haunting melody. Sounds great on classical guitar. Um, so there's a couple technical things we need to worry about. One is a big stretch from third fret to seventh fret or from a G note to a B note. Um, if you're a new player, that can be quite challenging. So you can just isolate that section. The other one is a slide from fifth to seventh. So again, you may wanna just practice that a few times. All right, so let's go through and just play the melody um, really slowly together. So we'll drop the bass notes. Here we go. just a little slide into fourth fret. You can go from second to four or from an E to an F sharp. Okay, all right, then we just repeat. So we start with that slide. Okay, and that ends part one. So let's go back now and add the bass notes. We're gonna play the same tempo and just, yeah, basically toe the line, add some big uh, lower end, which is gonna really fill out the song. Here we go. All right, so let's launch into part two. Now, unfortunately, we can't just play the melody and drop the bass notes because this is all based around uh, small chord shapes. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging um, if you're a new player, but that being said, let's launch in and take a look. So we're gonna start with the end of measure three here with the open E and then the octave E, those two quarter notes. That's where we're gonna start part B here. Let's check it out. have a couple uh, eighth notes okay so again you might just want to isolate that section the open and then the one and the two and then the three and the four with the open D really cool sounding part now here we have an a minor with a little bit of a gliss and that means you just roll your fingers through each note Again, you don't have to do that, but it sounds quite nice, I think. Now, next line, we've got an F bar chord. So, pretty tricky. So, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna play, uh, you know, first string, second string, third string with your sixth string. And then all you do is you roll through the chord. You don't have to move your left hand at all. Then a rest. Then you move it up a semitone to an F sharp. And 
rest. And then you could go repeat back to the beginning, but let's look at the, the ending because um, it's got some interesting harmonics. So here it is. So we're gonna start with a low E. And that's a nice little flourish at the end. So if you haven't looked at harmonics, um, all you do is you float your finger across the string so you don't actually depress it till it touches the fret. You just barely touch it and you need to touch over the fret. So normally you'd play inside the fret. Here you need to move your, your finger over top of the fret and just barely touch it. And then we move to fives. Let's jump back up to the top of the song and play through the whole thing at a nice, slow tempo. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on three of my easy to play guitar songs. Again, you can pick up the tab by heading to the tab store um, and it'll be on the link in the description as well. Uh, the rest of my information will be on the screen. Have a great week you guys. We'll see you next week with a new video. Take care.